Hey everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on it. So, the weekend is finally here. No home hemodialysis for my husband, so we are off on an autumn excursion for the day. I have on my Mimi of Ghouls t-shirt and my skull and crossbone Halloween earrings. I have my Halloween socks on, but I will not attempt to get my feet up to the camera level. And finally, my trusty Yeti cup with some steaming hot coffee with hazelnut coffee made in it. My favorite. So I hope you are all doing well and you have some exciting plans for the weekend too. I'd love to hear what you're up to this weekend. So please comment below and um, I will catch up with you real soon. Dollar Tree. What would my Saturday be without a treasure hunt at the Dollar Tree? Um, I am really excited to go in because tomorrow they are having a sale that um, if you spend $10 or more, everything is 10% off. Now the coupon says that it is an employee appreciation sale. So I kind of thought to myself at first, well, having a sale, they're actually making the employees work harder, it seems to me. But one of the employees told me that the more of those coupons that they process, they earn like prizes and bonuses. So, you know, if you have to be at work anyways, I guess, and be busy, I think the Dollar Tree here is pretty much always busy, then hey, any extra cash is always a good thing, right? And since I'm unable to attend the sale tomorrow, my husband has dialysis. I've got some other things I have to do. Um, I need to film a Halloween home tour. So if you're interested in seeing that, that is a collab that will be happening on Monday. So please subscribe and um, hit the bell and you'll be notified when that goes up. So in any case, back to why I'm excited that there's a sale even though I can't attend is that I'm hoping what that means is that my Dollar Tree will be super stocked in preparation for the sale. So let's head in and see what it looks like. As I expected, that was awesome. It was incredible. I have never seen so many employees stocking the shelves. Um, what I went in for were some Halloween paper plates and napkins, and those were nowhere to be found. Their Halloween items are relegated down to just one end cap. So um, there was a lot of Christmas. So, you know, I didn't want to get a ton, but I ended up getting some items that I didn't find last year. And, you know, if you shop at the Dollar Tree, you know how it goes. If you don't get it when you see it, it's gone. Halloween is still three weeks away and there's basically nothing there. Um, so stay tuned and I will do a haul later on today. So we're back home now. We had an awesome day. As you know, I went to the Dollar Tree, and then after that, we went to um, one of our favorite little antique thrifty centers. I did get some footage there, and we found some treasure. So I think my Dollar Tree haul will be long enough that I will save the Thrift With Me video for tomorrow. So if you would like to see what I found at the thrifty antique center, then please um, subscribe to my channel and you can see that tomorrow. So without further ado, I'm going to go right into the Dollar Tree haul. Now, uh, the first items I found, they had these with the Thanksgiving items. So I know purple isn't necessarily a traditional Thanksgiving color, but I really liked, they're calling this a fall mini wreath. But I thought what I would use these for undoubtedly is um, as candle rings. And I thought I could add some other items with them. So maybe I'll use them for Thanksgiving, but I'm kind of thinking I will actually save these 
for the spring. Um, so I was happy to find these. I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree. And I think they're really cute. These little um, floral garden, as I said, the fall mini wreaths. This was the only color that my Dollar Tree had, so I did pick up a pair of those. The next item I got, um, this is kind of a bizarre little item, but my grandkids love it, and my grandson told me that I needed to replace the one that I bought him previously, that it had dried out. So it's this poo do, it's squishy goo poo. It's like a slime. But I have to tell you, what I like about this slime is it's not like all super sticky. You can play with it. It, it doesn't uh, leave your hands feeling super horrible. It doesn't get on like the rugs or the bedspread and you're not able to get it off or stain. So as far as uh, kid-friendly slime goes, this is one. Yes, the name, you know, Poodoo is rather disgusting <laughs> and the brown color of it but you know it makes a three-year-old happy so i picked him up one of those i promised him i would get him that uh i also found some christmas things as i mentioned i went in for halloween plates and halloween just designated to an end cap um no paper goods left at my Dollar Tree. So they did have a lot of Christmas up. Um, I'm trying not to just buy Christmas things for the sake of Christmas items. But there are some things, too, that you, you can think, you know, all right, maybe you don't need additional Christmas ornaments. If you're like me, I have a 50-plus-year-old uh, ornament collection that literally started with my birth. So I definitely do not need any more ornaments, but you can repurpose and use ornaments in different ways. So I picked up this adorable little galvanized metal sled. So I thought what I'm going to do with this is probably not use it in my Christmas decor, but when I take down my Christmas things, use this for a winter seasonal decor. What's really nice is this little pick on it is wired. The sled has two little holes and this is wired through so you can change that out. I was thinking of maybe doing like some little ice skates and I don't know. I'm going to play around with this. But so that's something to keep in mind. If you don't celebrate Christmas or you're not into Christmas decor, there are items in that aisle that you can just use for seasonal winter decor, um, kind of repurpose, rework. So even though this says it's an ornament, that's not exactly how I'm going to use it. And I couldn't, I couldn't make this little sled for a dollar or certainly get it at some place like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I'm sure, for a dollar. So I picked that up. I thought that was really sweet. The next Christmas item I grabbed was this set of three gift bags. So I really like these. They say Merry Christmas with the stocking, a little poinsettia. This um, ornament bauble here is like on a little foam square so it sticks out, it's raised. Again, a set of three. The sides have the little stars. I thought the tags, the gift tag, how cute is this? The little red robin in his hat and scarf. So this is a purchase I picked up because I definitely know I already have a need for these little gift bags. In fact, I will have to get more. So um, this is something I got while I saw it because I know I'm going to use it. The next Christmas item I picked up is this little tinsel bell. You know, so this may not be for everybody, but I liked it. It kind of has like that vintagey vibe going on. And if you saw one of my earlier hauls from the Dollar Tree, I got a large um, like red plastic bell with a lot of glitter on it that had that same vintagey vibe. So this reminded me of the type of stuff that um, we found in my husband's grandmother's uh, boxes of Christmas decor. So I picked that up. I thought that was sweet. 
So the Dollar Tree really had a lot of great treasure today. So I do have some additional Christmas items, but I think I will um, take a break from those for a second and show you a few other things. Now I mentioned in a previous haul that I have a little Halloween party for my grandkids and their parents on Columbus Day. So I'm preparing for that. Um, and I play this little game called mystery boxes. Maybe you did when you were a kid, these like boxes, you stick your hand inside and you get a little thrill. You feel something, you know, uh, like cold spaghetti, whatever, things like that. So to help me out with some of the mystery boxes, I bought these two containers of slime. So I don't know if you can see, this is pretty darn liquidy. But so I thought this will really be cool inside a container um, in the mystery box. And I will put some of the little like plastic spiders or worms and snakes in it um, for the kids. So I picked up two of those. And again, not a big investment. So I don't feel horrible about throwing this away once the party is over. So I grabbed those. Um, also for one of the mystery boxes, this is a new item, at least for me at my Dollar Tree. It's called Bugs Gunk, Spider Web Gunk. And so to me, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like a sand texture and there's bugs inside of it. Little plastic bugs, obviously not real bugs. <laughs> at least we hope not, right? Um, so I thought this would be cute also to go in another one of the mystery boxes. But yeah, it's, it's like sand. So I will let you know how that works out. I'll probably, when the party is set up, you know, shoot some footage of that. So I picked that up. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a couple more things that I'm going to use at my Halloween party. We play a bunch of games, um, and then the kids get to, after they finish a game, they have a prize like chest and they get to pick a little prize. So I grabbed a couple of, so my idea with this ring toss game was to not use it as, um, it says it's a headband ring toss unicorn. They had this one and they had it in the um, shark version. But I thought I would use just these four foam rings for my Halloween ring toss, um, be a little bit, you know, safer being tossed around. So if somebody gets hit in the face again this year, no injuries. So I grabbed that. Um, so I think that is it for non-Christmas items for tonight. So I'm going to show you a couple other things or more than a couple <laughs> that I picked up. I got these socks. I thought they were the sweetest thing. They're low cut socks, fits shoe sizes five to nine, made in China. So the red and black check, but look at this sweet little mouse with his pink like uh, night hat on and he's holding a little pink and green ornament. So I got these for me. I thought they were just so cute. And even in the winter, I don't mind the low socks. Just throw something on to wear around the house. Um, so I thought those were adorable. I picked those up. I'm so excited. I can't wait. But I still am wearing um, Halloween socks. So I won't start with the Christmas until at least November 1st. <laughs> and speaking of socks, I picked these up. Um, each year I put together, it's a fairly new tradition, but now that my husband and I are empty nesters, um, we are home alone on Christmas Eve. I mean, we see family and do things earlier, but then, you know, come nighttime, we're alone. So I started putting together a Christmas Eve box for us. And so one of the items that I always include in it are Snuggy socks. And so these are Snugadoo socks and they're gingerbread man, they are gingerbread men because there's two socks. So each one has this cute little gingerbread man on it, the green heel. I mean, these are just like super, super 
soft. They just feel so nice. So I got us each a pair of those to go in the Christmas Eve box. Obviously, I know everything that's in the Christmas Eve box. So for me, the real joy is, you know, letting him open it and go through it. But I get us like each, you know, matching like pajama bottoms, the little fuzzy socks to go with it, and then um, something else. So I pick a theme each year uh, for some of the main stuff. I'm not going to say what the theme is, even though I have it set in. It's, it's not gingerbread. Um, these will kind of like fit in it. But I don't want to share the theme in case my husband watches this video. So I want to keep it a secret. But again, if you're into that type of stuff and you want to see what I do, I'd be more than happy to share how I put the Christmas Eve box together, what ideas I use, what type of theme. Um, last year's theme was It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, one of our favorite movies. So um, that's what I'm talking about, themes. So if you're interested in that, I will be doing it. So moving right along, this is another repeat purchase that I think they probably have every year. These Merry Decorative Bells. So my store had these in silver, gold, red, and I believe green. So I picked up a package of those. There's nine pieces in it. Um, can use them for present toppers, uh, jar fillers, a variety of things. I thought they were cute, so I grabbed those. Um, the next item I picked up, again, my Dollar Tree, in any case, carries these every year. They probably had this pattern last year, but I don't own this particular pattern with the red and green peppermints, like those starlight candies. The lid seems to fit on pretty snugly, um, you know, so for gift giving or if I do a little hot cocoa bar or something, again, with treats in it. I thought that would come in handy to use for that. Um, the next Christmas item I picked up is this LED projector light. Now, I own one of these with the, for Halloween with the witch flying across the moon, and I purchased uh, about a week ago, or yeah, last weekend, I believe, Santa flying across the midnight moon with his sleigh and reindeer. So today I saw this one, and it's like a wintry snow village scene. So I picked that one up and I thought maybe I'll keep this for myself and give the Santa and his reindeer team um, to my grandchildren. So I grabbed that. It's Christmas House brand. Um, it's not on a, I wish it was on a battery operated timer, but it's not. It does require batteries and then it has a little on and off switch and it's uh, two of the AA or rather AAA two AAA batteries. Batteries are not included in this. And the next item I got, I think, is my favorite find today. Oh, I just love it. And how silly, right? My favorite find is a gift bag. But just look at this. Some of my favorite things. This is a snow globe. It has the red truck in it. Let it snow. Some of the black and white uh, buffalo check ribbon, pine cone. So I thought Dollar Tree was right on with this bag. Again, everything, the snow globe, the red truck, just a little bit of glitter, let it snow, the black and white buffalo check. Then up here we have the red and black buffalo check. Um, they carried that through on the sides. The tag has the matching little design of the front of the bag. So, you know, good job, Dollar Tree. I really, I mean, their bags have really stepped it up over the past couple of seasons. So I think this is my favorite find of the day. And the last items I'm going to share are Christmas items. And they're the same item, but I got a set of two. You know, I was just bemoaning the fact of some of the scents that I wasn't a huge fan of at the Dollar Tree. Well, today I found this Glade Spray. Very Merry and Bright, limited edition. So I picked up two of these. Smells so nice. So, so nice. It notes of Merlot, berries, and spice. 
Not super strong on the cinnamon, but enough of it. Oh, so nice. I wish you all could smell that. So it's Glade name brand, eight ounces. So while I saw them, um, my Dollar Tree had probably three dozen of these. So I picked up two and now I should be set. So with that, I think I will end it here. So again, I thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to spend a little of it with me. And um, I look forward to the next time. So until then, be well.